Hi, I'm Professor Devi and I'm going to show you how to get started programming using Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 is actually the best environment for Windows programming. It's got the best tool set for Windows development. And so let's get started and we're going to get uh, go to the start menu and I'm going to go search for Visual Studio 2010. I actually uh, pinned uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 to the startup and if you kind of look uh, you can actually select this from the uh, pin to the start menu. But uh, let's say I did find it and I'm going to click on it and here we go. We're starting off Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Once we get started, you'll notice that the environment looks very complicated and uh, you have to remember that uh, this uh, IDE, or Interactive Development Environment, is um, made for professionals to develop uh, complex Windows applications. And so it is very confusing and it's meant to be so for the beginner. So, um, but we are using a professional uh, environment. So the next step is uh, Let's simplify this a lot by closing all of the windows and so we just get a simple MDI interface or a multiple document interface and so this is your uh, parent MDI container but uh, so in this place right you'll actually notice that the top left hand corner is Microsoft Visual Studio and uh, let's get started. We're going to start a new project by going to File New Project. Now a project is basically a folder where all of your source code for your project or executable are going to be located. And so when we give the name of a project, right, the name is actually the folder that you're actually going to create all of your source files. Now, we are working Visual C++ and so you must make sure that to select the correct language when you first install Visual Studio 2010, you have an option of selecting your primary language. And I've selected my primary language to be Visual C Sharp, but, uh, um, well, whichever is primary language, it doesn't matter. We're actually programming in Visual C++. And so we select other languages. And in here, you'll actually see an option for Visual C++. Select Win32. And after we get to the uh, Win32, um, option here in the templates, you'll actually see there's something called Win32 console application. So all of our projects, right, will consist of Win32 console applications, but as we develop uh, more complicated Windows applications, you'll actually see that we'll actually switch over to Win32 or, or C Sharp and so on. But um, make sure it says Win32. So again, the name of the project is the folder name that where your project files are going to be located. I'm going to start this off by uh, using the name first. So first means that's the folder first where all my project files are going to be located. Now the next is the location. Now if you've been working on many projects you don't uh, you want to find the location of all your projects in uh, one specific area. Um, the default location is uh, very complicated and uh, it's under your home directory. I prefer to uh, work somewhere close to the root and so I made a folder called work earlier and this is the location where I'll uh, work all, work through all my projects. I would recommend the same because especially if you're uh, doing a lot of coding and you need to go to the command prompt browsing through all of your project files and uh, moving things around by using command line statements. So um, we'll uh, make sure, so make a look good location we're working everything out. So this is a uh, work for me. Now there's a check, there is a create directory for solution. By default it will be checked and uh, please uncheck this. This is more of a larger uh, project which consists of sub projects and uh, we really don't want to work with uh, that complication and uh, we don't want to add this to a source control. Uh, when we do a source control it's actually a, a versioning system that keeps track of all of our source code but we don't have uh, that system working so we'll just uh, uncheck these two boxes. Make sure those are always unchecked initially when we're first learning how to program. Anyway, hit the OK button. 
In the next option box, make sure that it is a console application that you are creating. And uh, do not hit the finish or the cancel, but hit the next uh, button. In the next dialog, this dialog box, right, this application wizard, make sure it says console application. And in the additional options, make sure to check the empty project. After you selected the empty project, hit the finish button. So once you have in you're in the finish button, right, the first thing you'll notice is that on the top left hand corner, right, you'll actually see the name of the project called first. Okay? So next Whenever you work in a project, you really need to browse through dozens of source files in your project and uh, you want to see where they are. And so the most important panel that you must have activated is actually under Select View and Solution Explorer. Make sure to keep this panel always on. In these folders, right, will contain all of your source code. And so you'll have to click on these files to actually uh, modify them and uh, edit them and so on. In the next step, now right now there are no files in our project and so we're actually going to add some files to our project. I'm actually going to do this going to project menu option and in the project menu option I'm going to select add new item. So we're going to wait a little bit until the new dialog box comes in. And uh, once we have this box, you'll notice it's kind of semi-complicated. But under Visual C++, we're going to select Code, so we can actually subcategorize all these file options. And you'll notice that there is a C++ file. I'm going to click it. Now, all of our projects, when you're first learning how to program, right, you should name them a single file name. We're always going to name this main.cpp. CPP is an extension, stands for C++, but don't worry all of your C programs can actually run under a .cpp extension but uh, C++ is actually a superset of the C language and so the C++ compiler is actually the C compiler also so anyway here is your uh, main.cpp and I can hit the add button once you hit the add button right so you'll notice that you'll open up the uh, main.cpp file, but also note on the right hand side, do you notice under source files there's a little icon that says main.cpp? That main.cpp is the same file, so if you ever do close this window by mistake, it's fine. If you go to the Solution Explorer, you can actually double click and uh, get back to main.cpp. Now, hopefully, you've already configured your Visual Studio and I would recommend that you do this right in the beginning because uh, my indentation pattern is uh, not the default indentation pattern and uh, I prefer editing um, editing options that um, are not the standard in uh, by Visual Studio and it's actually probably a good idea because uh, every one of us as a developer right will have an, a different indentation pattern and uh, it's best not to use the system to auto indent your uh, code. So meaning that uh, you should always make sure you uh, configure your editor and you can do this by going to tools, options and um, you, d you have to only set this once but uh, I want to make sure that uh, you do know how to get here. So we're going to go to environment and uh, oops I'm sorry we're going to go to text editor and uh, select uh, all languages and select the tab section. Make sure that the indenting is turned off, the auto indenting. Do not select smart, keep it off. We're trying to be better developers, not uh, having a system do work for us. It's not very useful. And uh, try to uh, select keep tabs and I prefer to keep tabs at four spaces per tab. And uh, a lot of other developers might uh, like a different format, especially if you're working on a Unix platform such as Linux, they prefer to have spaces. But uh, I'm working on a Windows platform and I prefer tabs. And uh, my indentation pattern, I like to have my own indentation par pattern, not the standard that uh, Microsoft Visual Studio sets up. So uh, I'm going to hit the OK. 
So great, we can now start our first basic program. And our first basic program is going to be our standard hello world. And we're going to do this by typing in int main. And notice, and I'm using the printf function with a string. And we write our two statement main function which calls printf hello world and return zero. So here's our two statements and now do you'll notice that uh, when we type a file right you'll notice there's an asterisk on the tab that has the name of your file. That asterisk tells me that the file has not been saved. Now I can actually go to the file menu and hit the save option. Save main.cp. Now I can always remember control s but uh, I'm actually going to try to show you something else. Instead of uh, typing in uh, control S, we're actually going to hit Alt F, holding the Alt key and pressing F. Notice the F was one of the menu options. And then notice there's an S, so it's an underline underneath it, S. So I'm going to press S next. So I'm going to repeat this process by holding Alt F and S. Actually, it's a very quick way of saving. Control S is actually save also, but uh, by holding Alt F, at least I'll have a feedback of the menu, and on the menu I can actually read more information. So Alt F S. Now we want to build a project, and we can do this by going to the Build menu, and then hit Build. Do you notice I can also do this by pressing Alt B to get to the Build menu, and pressing B one more time to get to the Build solution. So uh, I'm going to build it right now, and if all of our coding is has no problems. We can actually start. Um, notice the build succeeded has worked. I uh, now I can build it again by just pressing Alt B and B, and notice uh, it builds again. Next, if I want to run this right, I'm going to go to the debug menu and I'm going to actually select uh, Start without debugging. Do not select Start debugging. Start without debugging. So we can actually see the output and at least we'll have an option of seeing the window suspend waiting for one of our one of the key to actually uh, continue execution so uh, this is our project and notice the output hello world that's actually generated by our windows program the uh, press any key to continue is actually coming from the visual studio ide asking us to continue so i'm going to press any key to continue and uh, after you finish working on this project, right, you should actually close the solution. And voila. So next time you need to go back to the project, you're actually going to go to either Recent Project Solutions or you can actually open Project Solution. And uh, let's go and s find my Project Solution. I can hit Project Solution and I'm actually going to go to the first folder where my project is located and if you look carefully there are two options one has the Visual Studio Infinity icon or that little picture logo and the next one it says uh, C++ if you can kind of see this I'm actually going to select the uh, solution the Visual Studio solution and hit the open once you do, you'll get back into your project and notice this is exactly where we left off last time. So great. And if I want to run this again, I can actually debug and start without debugging. But, uh, you know, I could actually try to do this in terms of uh, using Alt D and, uh, and I guess uh, clicking on. Um, I'm not sure there's no underscore on any of these, so maybe not. I prefer to actually use Control F5, so. Um, Maybe Control F5 is probably the best. So I'm hitting Control F5 to run this very quickly. So the reason you want to do this is that uh, let's say I want to do another line of code. Hello again. And I'm going to hit Save by pressing Alt F and S. I'll usually do this very quickly. And now I'll build Alt B B. And now I'm going to run it with Control F5. Notice that uh, you don't want to spend time getting your hand off the keyboard to actually execute and run these programs because as a developer you want to try and test out things quickly. So we just want to Alt-5 save, build, Control f 5 and run something. Okay, great. So uh, I'm going to close my project and uh, 
we're going to go to the next part.